Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Tuesday, November 30th. I'm Kaylin. This is my co-host, Maylin. Thanks for joining us today. I hear we're going to have a spelling bee at FMS. Really? When is it? I'm not too sure. Let's see if we can go find out. Hi, I'm Jasmine here. Mr. Reese. When? Tell us about the upcoming spelling bee. All right, so we will be having our campus spelling bee. Uh, this is the one that leads all the way up to the Scripps National Spelling Bee, like you see on ESPN at Washington, D.C., and all that. So it all starts here. When is it? Uh, our campus spelling bee will be on January 20th, which seems like a long way away, but it's really not. How many students will be involved? Typically, we get anywhere between 10 to 20. What type of prizes are there? So, I think the last couple years, whoever wins the campus spelling bee gets like a, like a trophy and stuff like that. I think there's some medals. And you get like a free Encyclopedia Britannica online or something like that. Will these students advance any further in the competition? In the competition. Yes. So the way that it works is you win your campus level spelling bee first, and then we go to the district level spelling bee, and then after that is the city spelling bee. If you win that one, then you make it up to the scripts, which we had a student a couple of years ago who I think three years in a row uh, qualified for the national. Thank you. Everybody sign up for the spelling bee. Another great group here at FMS is our student council. They're about to wrap up a really great food drive. Everyone is doing a really great job bringing in money that will be used to feed hungry people in our area. There's not a lot of time left in the drive, so everyone set, step up and do their best. Some of our lucky classmates might get to take a special trip to the food bank to find out what, just what happens with all that money we brought in. And if they're extra lucky, they might get to make a special stop on the way back. Have fun, guys. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> Jared and I'm here with Weston. Avery. What did you do for Thanksgiving? I ate dinner with my uh, grandparents, great grandparents, mom, sister. That's it. <laughs> I hung out with my family and friends. <laughs> Hurry up. We're done. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Everybody come along. Back to Tiger Vision News. <laughs> the next FCA meeting of the year is tomorrow. Each FCA meeting is a chance for people to get together for a great time of fellowship and talk about what's going on in the world around them. If you're a part of the group or would like to find out what it is all about, make plans to go to the gym tomorrow morning at 7:15. There's always a great group that does. The, FC, F, <laughs> the FMS band will have their next holiday concert pretty soon. We'll send a news crew out to see if they can get us more info on the big show. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Carson and find out what our forecast looks like. Hi, I'm Carson. I'll be your forecaster today. It's sunny, 63 degrees, winds west 20 miles per hour and 0% chance of rain. We're going to have 80s, and as we move up north, it will get colder and such. Cooler temperatures the next few days with little chance of rain. Carson, with your weather, back to you. Thanks, Carson. Now let's look at sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Natalie, and this is Phoenix. Here's a look at today's sports. The next regular basketball game of the year are tomorrow when the girls play Iron Cougars. The 8th grade girls play here while the 7th grade girls play at Irons. Tip off. The times are at 5:30 and 6:30. Everyone wish the girls good luck. The boys play dumb, uh, play Dunbar Thursday. Days graders will play here, and seventh graders will play at Dunbar. It's going to be a great week at, on the courts. Now let's go see what's happening at PE or Prias. Well, that's a look at today's sports. Back, Back to, to you. you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great <laughs> afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, Tigers, bye!